and I'm joined here for the welcoming ceremony by uh, Katarzyna Kaczkowska, the Deputy Director, Department of Innovation and Development Support Program, Ministry of Development Funds and Regional Policy, Michał Olszewski, Deputy Mayor, Capital City of Warsaw, Pavel Jabonski, Under Secretary of State for Economic and Development Cooperation, as well as African and Middle Eastern Policy, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and Jonathan Knott, the British Ambassador to Poland um, in the British Embassy here. So I'm delighted to welcome you all to the 11th edition of the Wolves Summit. Wolves Summit is a place for startups, investors, and corporations for innovation, business, and capital. I'm sure that the past number of weeks have been very difficult for many, if not all of us. There has never been a greater need for startups to be more adaptable, creative, and pioneer. I think it's quite interesting, this quote of Charles Darwin, that it's not the strongest of species who survive, nor the most intelligent, but the ones most responsive to change. And here we are already in, you know, first time going virtual in Wolf Summit, and we're having to adapt to change as we speak. Um, <clears throat> so, as I say, this edition marks the first edition of Wolf Summit, where we're delivering uh, the experience of the matchmaking and indeed our presentations virtually so please bear with us uh, we hope that this will be a positive experience for all concerned and we look forward to receiving your feedback in due course this can only get better it's a first time and on behalf of the entire wolves team uh, i sincerely sincerely hope that each and every one of you enjoy a very positive interesting and successful experience and who knows we may discover some unicorns so as always we're, we're tremendously grateful to the city of warsaw for the support that they continually give us and it gives me great pleasure to introduce and welcome our next speaker uh mr michal olszewski the deputy mayor of warsaw michal over to you Good morning. I'm really honored uh, to welcome you to also and to this very uh, uh, special conference and special edition. Since uh, April 2015, Wolf Summit uh, gained a really huge audience uh, worldwide. Uh, we as also we are very proud because uh, this conference is uh, uh, our biggest and most uh, uh, popular conference for the startups. This year we are challenging uh, and we are, we are facing actually the challenge uh, how to organize uh, such events, such uh, meetings uh, in the time of uh, uh, Corona uh, restrictions, uh, coronavirus restrictions. And uh, uh, from, from my side, really congratulations uh, to organizers uh, to cope, uh, let's say, with this problem and to uh, organize the conference in such uh, uh, uh unconvenient uh, uh, situation that we have so uh big applause to you uh, uh martin uh that you uh, still keeping this conference uh, uh, going and uh, uh, you want to organize it uh, i believe that uh, this uh, uh, circumstances that we have now uh they are uh, not only challenging for us not only for the organizers for the small medium enterprises uh, but uh, technology which we are using, uh, for example, now, uh, and technology that we will use after Corona uh, uh, situation, uh, will definitely change uh, uh, many uh, many businesses. Uh, I hope that during the conference, many of you uh, will uh, network, will uh, define the new business models, new business uh, companies, new 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 ideas, and uh, hope hope to be in past Corona reality with new ideas at the World Summit. Uh, I'll keep my finger crossed for uh, many, uh, many successful uh, uh, chats uh, uh, due to internet uh, and hope to, uh, uh, hope to uh, meet you once again uh, uh, in Warsaw in reality. Thank you, we have. We, we hope when things get back to normal to be back in Warsaw live obviously it's great uh, to have the option to deliver virtually as well there's so many startups up, up there out there so many investors and corporations and uh, you know it's it's great that we have the technology to enable people to match make to meet so thank you Michal so it gives a great pleasure now to introduce one of our key patrons uh, Pavel Jabonski uh, over to you please Pavel Thank you, thank you, Martin. Thank you, Michal, for, for your introduction. And uh, it is also a great pleasure for me to, to be here, although in this 
virtual form and and uh, joined this uh, summit. This is, as far as I understand, the 11th edition. So far, it was held twice in Warsaw in uh, reality, uh, other than the virtual reality. Uh, and I also hope for uh, having this continue in the future. These uh, unusual and very adverse circumstances prove that despite the, that the difficult situation we live in, uh, the, the Wolf Summit has been uh, organized. And this itself looks very promising, looks very interesting, uh, because this is probably the, the, the one of the first time that such an online event is organized on, on, on such a scale in Warsaw and in, in very short time. So all the credit should, should go for the, to the founders, to, to the organizers for your engagement, for your professionalism, for your dedication to, uh, to, to, to do it in, in this situation. It also proves your uh, flexibility, your ability to adapt to these changing uh, circumstances, which is an essential thing for every innovators. Uh, this persistence in pursuing the idea of bringing together startups, investors, managers to enhance all kind of interactions is especially important in these in these times, uh, because as we know, uh, these crises, if it has shown something, it's aside from the sanitary situation of, 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 the, of the, on the on the medical aspect of it, economically it also showed that how little it needs to completely revamp worldwide economy. And if we are learning something out of this, is that we need to be prepared for future crises to react swiftly to to know what to do in in, in uh, if situations like that would would reoccur. Uh, not just on sanitary level, but economic mostly. Europe and Western world in general should not be and cannot afford actually to, to, to continue to be dependent on insecure supply chains, say it in a very broad uh, context. We should prepare ourselves, should prepare our economy to be uh, in short from um, potential threat to these supply chains and technology, new innovative approach to it is essential to do it. So. If we want to build our own strategic economic independence from uh, potential insecure supply chains, that is something we have to think of. And events like this, the way this event is organized, show that we can do it and we will be continuing uh, maximizing the efforts to do it. In order for, for, for our economy to be feasible, we must find places where we can't cost. That's where there is a place for, for technology. Uh, from the perspective of Polish government, of, of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, this is one of the events that we have always, we have been uh, supporting, promoting by our embassies, by our consulates. We have been with the Wolf Summit since 2014, and we are following uh, this, this conference, this, this, this conference because it attracts businesses, it attracts innovative, uh, innovative uh, stakeholders to Poland, and. Uh, the general approach of the Polish government uh, is that we should promote the innovative thinkers, young entrepreneurs, and this has proven effective. Uh, as just this month, there was a there was a list of oh, top 1,000 innovative, most uh, fastest growing companies published by the Financial Times. I'm very proud to say that Warsaw is ranked uh, seventh best European city city in uh, terms of numbers of these innovative companies, surpassing. Munich, Madrid, Copenhagen. So this is thanks to the efforts of entrepreneurs in the first place, also of the Polish authorities, of the government, of the city. Uh, we are very proud to see how it flourishes, and we only hope that it will continue to do so. We will uh, support every effort. I don't know how visible is my pin here. This is for the GovTech program, which enhances and uh, attracts young entrepreneurs to provide also solutions, uh, state-of-the-art technology-based solutions to the public administration to make it more accessible, to make it uh, swifter, to make it more able to respond to the crisis. So uh, this is the future in general, as we all know, and uh, I say it to all the participants of the conference, that you are this future. Paradoxically, this uh, virtual event shows that even in such unprecedented situation where more and more countries impose uh, restrictions, containment strategy, all these new technologies are valuable alternatives and we can deliver our businesses, uh, our ventures in new formula. So this is a window of opportunity 
it motivates, uh, it is an example for other enterprises. So we hope that it will only encourage more innovate, innovation in Poland and in Europe as a whole. I wish you all a very fruitful conference. I wish you very intensive online networking. I hope you all will benefit from the opportunities that this gathering offers and maybe some startup that will be taking part in a great pitch competition that they will present ideas, solutions that it will also help us to fight the virus and the economic crisis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pavel. So, um, over to our, our next speaker, uh, Jonathan Knopf, uh, the British ambassador to Poland. And obviously, the British Embassy and DIT are tremendously supportive and active in the startup ecosystem. So, Jonathan, uh, welcome and over to you, please. Martin, thanks very much. Good morning, everyone. Um, first of all, before I start, I wanted to congratulate you, Martin, and all of the organizers, because I think this is a fabulous example of how we can uh, work and we can work responsibly. It's what we're trying to do in the embassy, it's what the British government's trying to do as well, minimizing the risks of coronavirus. And I think organizing this is a fabulous example of that. Not only for that reason, but also because we are encouraging the economy to recover. And that is fantastically important always, but particularly now. So a big thank you before I start. I want to say just three things, so I'll keep this short, Martin. The first thing is that the UK is really, really excited about the emergence of tech in Europe, about Poland for us as a tech champion in Central Europe. We recognize that Poland has 4,000 startups, a booming gaming sector, 400 Polish studios, and the depth of talent in ICT, maths and science. The second thing I want to say is that the UK wants to be a partner, wants to be a partner across Europe, in particular wants to be a tech partner here in Poland. We think we're an ideal partner. Now, of course, I'm the British ambassador. I'm going to say that, right? Let me back that up, though, with, a, with maybe three bits of information. So some facts. 2019, the UK attracted a record investment level of £10 billion in the tech sector. That's up 44% over the previous year. That's more than France and Germany combined. Fact number two, London attracted more VC investments in 2019 than Berlin, Munich and Paris combined. And in the top 20 cities, it's not just London, but also Cambridge, Bristol, Edinburgh and Oxford. Fact number three, 81.2% of UK tech investment is in high growth, high product productivity scale up firms with at least 10 employees and growing by 20% year on year. So some facts to back that up. I think the UK is a sort of partner, which I hope Polish European companies want to team up with to grow and to internationalize. The third thing, and I promise only three, third thing I wanted to talk about was a demonstration of that. We in the embassy, together with the Polish government, are taking action. It's not just about talking. What we've done so far is to organize some startup games at the Google campus last year. We've run a Biomed Academy, which took 17 Polish startups through mentoring and development programs with our friends from the Polish Development Fund. We've run six round tables with six tech sectors to understand their strengths and needs and how we can add value. And we've launched, I launched with the minister, Jadwig Emilewi, the UK Polish Tech Challenge, matching up big UK and Polish corporates with smaller UK and Polish startups, trying to find joint solutions. Now I give those examples because I wanted to recommend to you, first of all, you talk to each other, but also that you count on us. Count on the UK, come to the UK, speak with us. We really want to find solutions with you that works for everyone. Thank you very much, Jonathan. And um, over to another key patron of ours, Hatyzina Kaczkowska. You have the floor. Thank you very much, Martin. And uh, I'd like to just shortly join the, the congratulations to the organizers for your perseverance in organizing the conference and uh, moving it online. And I think it's a very big success that you've managed to do this. And it's all working and we can all meet and discuss despite the circumstances. And second of all, um, I'd like to say that uh, thinking about it yesterday, I was thinking like this is a big startup conference and um, given the circumstances, the pandemia, I think we all need to kind of like really learn from startups, like how to adjust to changes, how to be agile, how to be able to change our business models, our ways of thinking, our technologies that we use. 
um, in order to uh, to adapt to what's happening. So I think this is a very big lesson, and I hope we are all able to learn uh, during this conference, observing startups, not just how to wear colorful sneakers and walk around with the uh, with the laptops with the colorful stickers, but just how to how to change our ways of thinking and be able to adapt quickly. And you can use uh, the European funds that we implement in Poland here for that to, to help you to uh, implement new solutions and to find new solutions. So we're working uh, both on new instruments from the structural funds, from the European funds that can help you do this, but also we're working, we're offering the, uh, the beneficiaries of our current project that uh, can change your projects. We're open to various changes and modifications of your projects so that you can actually adapt your projects to the changes that are happening in the situation right now. So uh, please uh, think of the European funds as a way um, to fund uh, your projects uh, also in these um, difficult times. And I hope they will help you um, to find the great solutions uh, to uh, also to the, to the virus and to the conditions that we're in right now. Thank you very much to the organizers and I wish everyone a very good conference. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katarzyna, Jonathan, Pavel, Michał. To all of you who've joined us, you're very, very welcome. We really hope that you have a very uh, successful, that you enjoy the experience and that it works out well for you wherever you may be or whatever you're doing. So uh, we're going to hand back now very shortly to our MC, Tricia sosnowska Buxton, handing back now and thank you all once again Thank you very much. Thank you Bye. very much. Bye-bye.